your tutorial on AWS web services. Uh, the last time we were able to learn how to host a static website using AWS S3. Now we did that by dragging our local build files on our respective S3 bucket. That works. Uh, in my opinion, that works or that's just fine if you're working on a very small website that does not get constantly updated. But what if you're working on something a lot bigger or much more complex and there's content ch there's constant changes every time then it might be better to actually use an automated service that actually rebuilds the files for you and produce um, produce an output or produce the build output to your uh, s3 bucket instead of actually dragging the files over and over again and the way on how we can achieve that is by using another service in AWS and that's called AWS code build and that's what we are going to learn for today all right before we can actually make use of AWS code build I actually forgot to mention one thing and that is that you need to host um, whatever project whatever site that you're working on you need to host that on a repository hosting service uh, mine is at github it could be either bitbucket or gitlab or what have you as long as it's supported by aws then you're good to go so in order for us to start we need to create a new pipeline first then under the pipeline name try to keep you know the naming convention here uh, as relevant as possible to the project that you're working on so mine is a project uh, a website project about dogs so i'm gonna name it pipeline dogs and i'm gonna create a new service role because i don't have uh, an existing one and under advanced setting i'm going to change the artifact store to custom location because i already have an s3 bucket created uh, so that whenever the project is built all the files will be put here in the, in this artifact or in this s3 bucket so to speak so i'm gonna hit next uh, right after this source provider like what i mentioned a while ago mine is supported so i'm gonna choose github and i'm going to hit the connect to github button once that is connected it will prompt you the uh, will prompt you a list of repository that you can choose uh, from uh, we're going to select this since this is the one that I want to put in my uh, AWS S3 bucket so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose dog 3d slider and then then the default branch is master since I only have one working branch in that repository and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna choose get webhooks recommended uh, what basically this is is whenever you try to uh, push a commit or try to commit some changes in your repository uh, enabling get webhook uh, or get webhook will tell code build to rebuild the files again since there are new changes in the code base so that's what it is i'm gonna hit next right after and then add a build stage this is where code build comes into play so we're gonna choose code build and the region uh, this could be uh, any region oh, but it, uh, you could choose whatever region I'm I'm gonna choose Asia Pacific Singapore th since this server is much closer to where I live at so under, under project name since we don't have an existing one I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna create a new project a new pop-up window will show up and then again in terms of naming try to keep it as relevant as possible this is going to be about uh, a website about, about dogs so i'm going to create a uh, code build or i'm going to name this code build project dogos then let's just really try to maximize this so you guys can see so the description you could do you could leave it as blank this is optional uh additional configuration there's not much that we can change here now on the environment on which the project uh, will be built i'm going to choose ubuntu the runtime is standard then the image is 1.0 since i'm using node 
uh, the configuration here you can look this up in the documentation so you can learn more in depth about why I'm setting this all up but basically this is good enough for actually uh, creating or building a project so um, under new service role we can create a new service role because we don't have an existing one so click on this and build spec file under build spec okay this this is one thing that I failed to mention as well on the root uh, on the root directory of your project you should create a build spec yaml file so basically what a build spec yaml file is it's a set of instruction that code build will follow so first it will install the dependencies second on the build phase it will try to build the project using the npm run build command uh, and the post build uh, there's nothing that I put here as a command uh, and lastly on the artifacts this basically the build the build directory and all the files in here will be thrown well not really thrown will be uh, put under our s3 bucket so that's what uh, a build spec yaml file is so sorry let's go ahead and continue that continue with the configuration so the rest of the f the rest of the config here under logs if you want to see how the project is uh, getting built in it should enable this cloud watch logs and continue the code pipeline uh, takes a while before it actually builds and once this I'm gonna pause this and once it's done uh, we'll, oh, actually you don't need, sorry my, my apologies don't need to pause this uh, it says successfully created code build project always in code build that's an indication that everything went wrong so click next and then the next config is the deploy stage so basically it's telling us okay right after the build where do you want me to put the files well since my project is a website I want to put the files in Amazon S3 in my respective bucket so I'm gonna choose my bucket again and then this is important I want all the files to get extracted on the root level of the bucket I don't want to create another folder or zip folder for it so you should click this or you should check this under additional config there's not much that we can change here so we'll leave it as that and click on next and under the review tab you can actually see all the settings that you have set up I'm I'm good with this and we can now create the pipeline so once this is done or once uh, code build has successfully registered this uh, in its setting it will try yeah there you go success congratulations the pipeline is now created so this will take a little while uh, before it can actually produce the local builds into your S3 bucket. But I'll, uh, I'll pause the video first and we'll get back to this in a while. Alright, it looks like the code pipeline um, deployment is done. Now, if we actually go ahead and try to visit our S3 bucket. You can see that the files are already uh, were already uploaded in there. So let's go to our S3 and our respective bucket. Wait for it to load, and you can actually see the uh, build files were already thrown in here. So if we go ahead and see or try to take a look at the hosting uh, link of our website, you can see that the whole project itself has already been uploaded and if we uh, and so that's how code build works and uh, when you try to initiate a pipeline and you try to specify the settings in your code build uh, with uh, regards to your project so that's how it actually works so now if we were to uh let's say let's say for example if we were to try and change this text here about doggies into something else then all we need to do is to actually push our files or 
push our commit or push a new commit to our repository and then code build code build itself will try to rerun with the new changes and our s3 bucket will get updated as well so let's go ahead and try and do that so in our local uh in our local file let's try to find the component on which the text is located so it's about doggies i'm going to change this to about dogos uh so i think it's under site nav let's see here yes uh so i'm going to change this to about dogos now, this is the local host uh copy of my website so if we go ahead to our local host copy you can see that it's already been updated but not on our s3 the, the changes has, has not been reflected on s3 yet uh, obviously so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna head over to my uh, get command repository so here I'm gonna say get status and it's it sees that I have made some modification to the file so I'm gonna hit git add um, if you guys are not quite familiar with git yet I suggest you guys take a look there was some tutorials out there uh, it's quite easy once you get used to it so get status I uh, get that sorry get that get status then we can commit this change uh, new file update so now we can push the changes uh, first let's go to our repository and see if the changes has been uh, already committed so in our commits you can see here that I have a new one and it's the new file update that I've made so here on s3 we can actually take a look at the code pipeline again and see whether there's a new job or there's a new automation job that is running so here we can see that there's another one now as you can see here in the last executed uh, I'm gonna click this so it's trying to rebuild the project again so once this is done uh, we'll get back to this but for the meantime I'll pause the video all right it seems like our second pipeline job is done running and most likely the files in our s3 bucket is updated as well so if we actually go ahead and try to take a look at our uh, static website that is hosted in our bucket you can actually see that the change has been reflected so that's how powerful code build is you don't have to unlike what we did previously wherein we drag files to the s3 bucket and then um everything will get updated in here everything is is done through an automation job which is uh code builds job so uh if you were working on something really large or complex this might come in handy because dragging your static file or dragging your build files over and over again is not very ideal and uh, it's not something that should be used in a in a team environment setup so to speak if ever you're working on a website with multiple people so yeah um, so that concludes our tutorial I hope I'm hoping that you find this really uh, useful uh, if ever you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one